Barry Feldman of Feldman Creative, and we kind of have the uh, Double Barry show here because I have well, with me today on our Hangout interview, Megan Barry of Rebel Mouse. Thanks for joining us, Megan. Thanks for having me, Barry. Okay, now we did not we did not see you there. Okay, uh, I guess I'm playing cameraman. There's Megan. Hi, Megan. <laughs> Hi, thanks for having me. So there's our first technical glitch. You know this Google Hangout thing, Google Plus Hangout. Uh, it's really cool, but it takes a little getting used to, especially when you're the engineer and the talent, if you will, at the same time. So I'll ask the audience to bear with us. So, Megan, uh, you, oops, that, there we go, technical glitch number two. <laughs> we want to be looking at you. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, Rebel Mouse. I've uh, been using it for almost since it came out, and I'm excited to tell people about it and have them understand it and, re and really help me understand it better so that I understand uh, its benefits. Because, you know, to me, it's, you know, it, I guess you guys call yourself your social front page. Mm -hmm. So that's a benefit for sure, but I don't know except for it's fun and it looks cool, how it helps me. Can you clarify why somebody who's not on Rebel Mouse needs to get on Rebel Mouse right now at the conclusion of this interview? Yeah, absolutely. So what Rebel Mouse does is it uh, organizes what you're sharing on social into one dynamic website, and you can then embed that anywhere and, and power your own domain with it, have your own .com. Um, and basically, our you know, the reason we started it is people have become you know really good on social networks. Um, we care about what we put out on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, or any network we're on, and we put a lot of thought into that as being you know part of who we are. Yet, um, to the extent that any of us have websites, we're generally I'm sort of embarrassed about them. They're out of date. We forgot to update some you know them, so they're the you know the job's not even right anymore. The photos <laughs> old, um, and what we wanted to do is. Is, is fix that and really have your website uh, be amazing, awesome, and dynamic just because uh, you're good on social. All right. So then Rebel Mouse becomes your website, or I mean, that's the big idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so let, let me help people understand that by showing them what else it could be. So I have uh, a screen set up, and we are about to. I'll take a look at that. And so this is rebelmouse.com. Now, I should ask uh, the viewers to uh, expand to full screen if they have the real estate. Otherwise, you'll be looking at some pretty small little um, stuff here. But this is rebelmouse.com slash Feldman Creative. I snag that, uh, and anybody can do the same, uh, provided someone hasn't beat them to the name of their company or their name. Now, that's not my website. That's your website, correct? Um, so that's like your site. It's sort of like um, on Tumblr, you can just have tumblr.com slash whatever name. So that's your site, but it's on our site. Um, but you can embed that on your site or power a site with it. Right. Now, do most people do that? Um, I mean, right now, the majority actually keep it on rebelmouse.com, but increasingly we're seeing sort of the power users are the ones um, bringing it elsewhere. Okay, so if you don't embed it on your site or make it your site, and we'll get to that to help people understand exactly what we mean, and you just let it be on Rebel Mouse, what type of purpose does it serve? Is it just, is it just to, like, bring your life into order when, in social media? Yeah, so it's, you know, it depends how you use it. Some people use it almost, it becomes their blog, um, and it'll bring in their updates from social, but they actually add original blog posts or comments on some things they've shared, and they think of it in that way. Other people think of it as a portfolio. Um, some people use it as sort of just their, you know, in case you, you missed what I've been sharing lately, here's what it is, my sort of top picks, things I like that type of thing so it's pretty flexible in that sense um, and it depends how you know how you want to use it right okay so back to um, my screen now to help people understand we are looking at rebel mouse slash Feldman creative and I have taken advantage of the offering to embed it so now if you look closely at feldmancreative.com we're at my website now um, I can make it my home page, and some very notable people have, and um, therefore their website's home page would look like this. I've chosen to embed it as a page on my site, and I'm calling that super social. And so it's not exactly the same as Rebel Mouse. We'll switch back. Oops, sorry about that. And you'll see I have tabs and so forth. But the front tab, my Rebel Mouse home, becomes 
<laughs> Third choice. And just just right. to add, you could also actually um, add in the tabs there if you wanted. It's just an option. It depends, you know, what you want. But you could add that um, on on your embed if you would like. Okay. Would that require um, some embedding that I haven't done yet? It just requires in the embed code. It's like one different parameter. So if you go in our sort of where you know our guide where you choose what to add, one of the options is to add Rebel Nav. Okay. I would like that because as you can see here, I'm an avid SlideShare user and you know that's oh, where awesome. I put a, a lot of my content. So I made a SlideShare specific page. That's great. So when you get into the Rebel Mouse, and this would perhaps help people understand, when you get into the dashboard, you go through all kinds of controls with what you'd like to have fed and uh, and customize it the way you like and now different layouts and backgrounds are, are coming forth as the company uh, grows its offerings and so that's what I've decided to do here I don't know exactly where I did the slide share thing would you know where I did that yes yeah, so if you return to the front page um, it's an option in the navigation um, like to the very sorry to your front page um, there's a little uh, pencil icon on the front all right. Um, by the navigation, and that's where you edit those. Uh. Okay, so that's what that looks like, and so yeah, you can create a website, and it's a, obviously a lot easier than um, creating one from scratch. And it adopts what we have as kind of a, a picture board. I imagine a lot of the press has has um, described what we see here as as Pinterest like. You probably got that one before, right? Yeah, though it's been fun just, you know, just we have one new layout now that you have there of that big, big center one, and that already is starting to differentiate us, and we have many more coming, so. Okay. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to not do the cameraman control, so when you speak, we see you, and when, <laughs> when I speak, we see me. I'm going to try to close that out. All right, so I am talking, and but I am, all right, I guess we're in cameraman mode. All right, so uh, we've covered a little bit of an introduction where people have uh, seen what it looks like, and we've talked about embedding it. Now, um, I made some notes based on this um, Mashable roundup. They created a whole 15-slide gallery to um, talk people through um, Rebel Mouse if they're new to it. And they mentioned this, that there are publishing tools that let you alter the positioning of items, you know, delete items, fix items, move things around, and so forth. Can you talk to us about that and how you use that to um, you know, optimize yeah, what you're trying to accomplish? So the idea is like we want um, to have all the automated tools in place so that everything flows in without any work, but we also want you to have every editorial tool so you can change anything you want to change, and we think that human layer is really important. So um, any post on a page, you can just drag it and drop it and move it from one place to another. Um, if you have you know, a great blog post you love, it doesn't matter if you wrote, wrote it a month ago, you may want to bring it up to the top center and freeze it there. You can freeze it there for a few days. You can freeze it infinitely. Um, and new stuff will flow in around it, but it'll stay in that spot. So it's a really powerful way for you to make sure that the site um, represents you. And then, of course, you know you can remove things, change photos, um, those types of things as well, just to make sure it fits what you want it to. Yeah, I've enjoyed that. That's a lot of fun it's, uh, saying go away, um, pin this one to the top, keep it here. It's, it's it makes mm -hmm. it about as easy as you can possibly ask for. And then I guess, you know, like a lot of people are going to have a Twitter feed and perhaps only a Twitter feed. And it just sort of um, brings a little sex appeal to what uh, is generally not so sexy. When you're looking at Twitter, uh, there's nothing sexy about it. If there's media besides uh, what you've typed, uh, you have to expand it, right? So Twitter becomes a really uh, uh, engaging thing to look at when you look at it through Rebel Mouse. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's you know that's part of the value we add. We have a strong relationship with Twitter, and it's about bringing in like you have all this really powerful and visual content you're sharing on Twitter, and we just represent it in that way on your site, and it and it really helps a lot. All right, I'll have to ask the audience to continue bearing with me as I manually switch cameras. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to the auto sense feature, so sometimes uh, we're looking at the person who isn't talking. Um, just yesterday or recently, anyway, I discovered this bookmarklet. Book. Marklet is that how you say it? a yeah. bookmarklet feature? Can you can you tell our audience about about that and how they might put that to use? 
Yeah, basically it's that as you go about um, the web, anything you find, an article, an image, uh, anything that you want to share with your audience, you can use our, our bookmarklet and it'll post it to your Rebel Mouse page and give you the option to share to Twitter and Facebook. Um, in many ways, if anyone is familiar with the Pinterest pin it button, it works quite similarly, but it adds to your own site there. So if you, for instance, have it controlling, like if I have meganberry.com is mine, I can add something instantly to that site um, that I want to share and it shows up there. All right, and then another feature that I don't think we've talked about yet is direct posts. So you are not, um, you're not, uh, when you're doing that, you're not featuring a feed from an RSS feed, uh, for instance, like my blog or, or social media. You go directly to Rebel Mouse and uh, start creating. Am I right about that? Yeah, absolutely. So it's actually a full publishing platform. So you can post the right blog post directly to the platform. Um, and and um, that we've been seeing people do that more and more, and we think uh, even more so once we release, you know, in the future we'll be having sort of more commenting uh, abilities and more engagement on those posts, um, and then it'll really be a full-service platform. All right, so are there benefits that we haven't talked about? I mean, it's, it's pretty clear that it's fun, it's visual, uh, it sort of organizes your social life, and, and then in terms of being a publisher or providing media to your audience, it gives you all kinds of um, flexibilities. Now, I'm wondering, you recall a minute ago we were looking at my website with all this stuff I've done. I'm very active on social media, and so it's an ever-changing uh, uh, landscape, I guess, in terms of what that page that I called Super Social looks like. Does that bring, does that give me any benefits for traffic or SEO or anything like that? Yeah, so um, there's a few things. Like one is just um, the everything we do is is really focused on social sharing. Um, so we think a lot about you know how to bring in you know the option to tweet and and share everything out and really every article there. So that's one aspect of it. Um, another aspect is simply. Um, adding it to the site uh, usually increases time on site and user engagement just because um, there's more to look at and that's especially true um, if you add it as a sidebar on article pages where you normally would have white space and if you add a row mouse sidebar when users get bored of the current article they can go to the next one um, and that's incredibly powerful too. Um, so for instance this is a full page view um, which is also really great. Lots of people use that as their front page. Um, but if you had, for instance, in your portfolio or in your, you know, your other areas, a sidebar of Rebel Mouse, then as they just kind of want to go to the next thing, it gives them a really visual way to choose what to click on next. Um, and so people have been finding that works really well for them. Um, and then in general, um, it actually does have, uh, you know, it, it, in terms of like for those who are really focused on SEO, um, the embed, you know, can provide some value, like we're working on that, uh, but that's not, uh, Google doesn't work with embeds as well, so for SEO value it's more around uh, powering a whole site or subdomain with Rebel Mouse, um, which certainly is also powerful and then just like helps it in the SEO terms, um, and then it's actually um, a really good way to do it because it's uh, updating so frequently, which helps with Google's algorithm. Right, so we've talked to um, SEO benefits, like you said, where um, the site becomes stickier and uh, the conversation becomes um, more engaging or perhaps you get into a conversation that you wouldn't otherwise get into. But now that we're looking at my site, I guess you did answer my question like this. Okay, here's your name, uh, Megan Barry of Rebel Mouse. You're not likely to do a search for Megan Barry of Rebel Mouse and find this page yet. That's the thing that you said you're working on. Right. right, so that's what we're working on, although if you created social.feldmancreative.com and used Rebel Mouse to power that, that would work now. Oh. <laughs> so you may want to use that integration. It's just a matter of uh, sort of the way, you know, Google sets it up. Head spinning. Okay. <laughs> okay, where do I get, how do I learn how to do that stuff? Uh, I, when you do get to Rebel Mouse and you have a question, I find that you find yourself on a Rebel Mouse page uh, with kind of a pinboard-like style of uh, specific answers to specific questions. And then uh, how else do you support your customers? Um, so we we are actually, you know, customer support matters a lot to us. So we answer everything on, um, you know, Twitter, Facebook. We ha You can email us early at RebelMouse.com. We're pretty responsive. 
um, you know, the, that email thread has, you know, our CTO, the founder, pretty much everyone on it, and we all jump in and help. So really do always encourage people when they're confused to just shoot us a line. And we often, uh, you know, make things better because of what users say, and I know we've definitely done that for some things you've suggested, Barry. Right. Okay. Great. Well, I'm running out of questions. I think everybody's learned a lot, and when they see this, I know they're at least going to go check it out and try. And it's so easy to to become a Rebel Mouse customer. There's no reason just to not do it. Now, talk to me before I let you go about that. I think you, the company came to be just uh, mid year last year. Is that right? Yeah, we launched June 6, 2012. So not quite a year, but almost. Okay, so uh, this is good because I think I saw recently in getting ready for this interview while I was doing research about Rebel Mouse, some enormous numbers for the number of people that are, are now running the platform, something to the tune of almost 300 grand. Is that correct? Yeah, that's about right, actually. That many sites on the platform, which is really, really exciting. Yeah, all right. So that's some fast growth. All right, well, um, I think we will have to uh, direct people to Rebel Mouse now so that they'll get there and uh, learn more about it. So they need to go to rebelmouse.com, do a search for it, find it really easy, uh, and start playing around with it. There's a, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of controls on there. And even if you just um, go with a lot of the defaults, you're going to find yourself having a spectacular looking um, social front page. I guess that's what Rebel Mouse calls it. Is that right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, All right, awesome. we'll sign off. Oh, sorry, Megan. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I was also going to say um, we have a new, um, so a lot of, most of what you can do with Rebel Mouse is completely free, but we do have a new 999 upgrade that includes Google Analytics, um, the ability to power a whole domain, some things like that. So if you're interested, Barry, I can give you a coupon code for anyone who, you know, listens to this or anything to get, um, you know, 20% off lifetime or something like that. Yeah, it sounds like if you're going to um, use Rebel Mouse with the way you, you, you intend, uh, that is it becomes, you know, a portion, a big portion or, or your site, you know, at large, mm -hmm. you're going to want those tools and, you, you know, and, uh, less than 10 bucks a month is a small price to pay for it. So, yeah, so how would you do that? You're going to give me a, a verbal coupon code that people could use? Yeah, yeah. I um, let's talk about it offline. Maybe you, you can include it in the in the description or something like that, and we can figure out the best way. But we can name it whatever you like. Mm -hmm. All right, good deal. Um, so we will do that and uh, give um, the people here that are watching this program an opportunity to uh, get on board in a serious capacity for uh, even less than the entry level price. Excellent. So thanks so much for joining us today, Megan. It's been great. Thank you. All right, good.